my name's Paolo Valenza. My name is Okay, can you just tell us about your experience in football? Playing, coaching, you know, whatever you want to tell us. I started playing football when I was nine years old. Uh, went to the Arsenal School of Excellence when I was 11. Done my youth team there, my YTS scheme. Uh, and signed a professional form of Arsenal when I was 17. Uh, had a career in football for the last 10 years. And this year started uh, Pro Impact Football, my own little soccer school. Okay. Um, what about, um, so how many appearances did you make for Arsenal? In total, I think I made 11 appearances for Arsenal. Okay. It doesn't sound a lot now, but obviously it's hard to break into that team, so yeah. that's something I'm proud of. Did you play in the Champions League? Yeah, played in the Champions League. Against? Panathinaikos, Deportivo, La Coruña. Okay. And Not then I was on the bench for various other games. Okay. Appearances. Yeah, I'm pretty much the same as Paolo. I came up through the Arsenal youth system as well. Um, unlike Paolo, I didn't make any appearances. Um, but as Paolo said, it is really hard to break into the Arsenal first team, as you probably all want to know yourself. Um, um, and I went to, from Arsenal, I left there and I went to um, Reading in Cambridge. Uh, and obviously played in non league a bit. Uh, eventually stopped playing due to various injuries problems. Um, Paolo and the boys have obviously set up pro impact. Um, and now I'm just coming down to coach with them. Okay, so you, are you both, I know Paolo's a certain midfielder, Jermaine, are you a midfielder as well? I play anywhere. Anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> anywhere, when you was at Arsenal? So when you was at Arsenal, where were you no, playing? I was a winger. I was a winger. Okay, yeah. to be honest, I heard you as a winger, I heard you as rapid as well. Oh yeah, I'm still playing. Is it? Is it? <laughs> I'll tell you, when I heard that, is that great? When I heard that, I was like, what? When you live in the I just put in the of Okay, um... So, what do you feel, what do you guys feel it takes to be a top midfielder in this country? Oh, actually, no, not in this country. Just what do you feel it takes to be a top midfielder in general? Uh, to be honest with you, I think, not really just about midfield, but I think dedication is the, the key word in Cats, becoming a professional. <laughs> you can hear that music in the background. Yeah. He never made it because all he wants to do is play around the corners. <laughs> <laughs> you've got to do more than play around the corners. <laughs> I think, yeah. Is it on now? Yeah, God. I think probably the, the best midfielders are the box to box ones. Uh, someone I probably look up to at the moment that probably does it better than most is someone like Mike Wesson. Uh, he comes to this country as more of a holding player, just sitting in there in front of the back form, breaking play up. But this year he's been used more advanced, and I think it's affected his game well. He's, uh, he's playing some really good football at the moment in his box to box, and his energy is fantastic. So energy is a key word in it as well. Okay, and what I think the best midfielders can do anything really. They can, they've got a bit of everything. Like Estienne, as Paolo said, he not only can he get box to box, he's technically good as well. Um, good on the ball, strong, he can pass the ball. Um, so yeah, I think I think the best midfielders can have got a bit of everything in their game to be honest with you. Do you know what? I'm actually surprised at what you two have said because um, I rate Essien highly, but because of the way I see you guys play, I thought you'd have went for somebody a bit more technical to be honest, but uh, what what would you say? Who sorry? Who would you say was the best player you played against and the best player you have played with? It could be a youth team. It could be a non-league player. It could be any standard. Best player I played with is easily Dennis Burkamp. His back shoulder without hands down. No questions asked. He's easily the best player. Okay, and again, the against? Um, best player I played against. Oof. Some good questions. Who did I say? <laughs> oh, <same player. laughs> uh, 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 best player I've played against probably played for England under 16s against Italy, uh, Francesco Totti. Okay. Uh, and even at that age, he was he was head and shoulders above everyone. Okay, okay. He was, he was, you know, he was quite a, he still is as well. Mm -hmm. there you go. What about you, Paolo? I'd say that probably the best one I've played with. Uh, would be Patrick Vieira mm -hmm. just because I played alongside him in the midfield uh, that's an experience in itself he was obviously when he was at Arsenal one of the best midfielders in the world if not the best at the time and the way he would boss a game and dictate the play was something that you looked up to as a young lad and you try to bring that into your game obviously it's not as easy as just saying it he worked hard on the training field every day and he put a lot of hard work into it so, 
Also, what Jermaine said as well, Dennis Bergkamp is probably technically the best player I've ever played with, ever seen. He'd do things in training and that would just amaze you. And you realise you had a long way to go to even be able to stand on the same field as these sort of people. Uh, so yeah, probably them two players I would say.